because he doesn't remember names, but he remembers faces? Or did I misremember that conversation, and I'm the one with the bad memory? If we show him this, Mr. Guy should be able to help us out. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. Uh-oh. How do you know she sailed out? That's a tough break, Junior. But you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny. Hey. Look, okay, I gotcha. I, I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha. <laughs> but don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. So, it, I, I guess it's just for story's sake that some of these people are, like, stuck in some of these locations, like, as a character fixtures. Like this old sailor dude stays by these docks for a while. Because I guess their their time is spent out. Or maybe this isn't like their their journey through hell type of thing. Like this is where they belong. Like an old salty sea sailor helping everyone out. And this is their true quote unquote heaven. I don't know. It's just a, just a food for thought. So let's go ruin these guys dreams. Poor dude. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny. Is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Hey boss, you gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Ubacaba. Did Manny like single-handedly turn this town around by himself? Oh, well, single-handed, that's redundant, but... I mean, that's sweet. Also, I'm loving Tux Manny. Looks sweet. Does he have his own apartment and everything? I mean, this seems like a pretty good shindig here. I don't know why I'd want to leave. My wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. <laughs> I, I really hope somewhere like later in the story, like giant pigeons are going to come out of nowhere to save our ass. That would be great. Can we pick up this little... Ah, lady luck. Ooh. What? Little noir berry monk number two, two is the winner. Your chips, monsieur. This must be my lucky day. <laughs> Mesdames, messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your beds. Mesdames, messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. What? Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more beds, please. Wait, is this? Is it always going to be on two if we hold that on that? Oh. We control the betting, huh? Le numéro gagnant, le 10, noir, père et manque, 10. Okay, we're good with that. 
So Manny has a way to rig a casino. Also, it's a casino now instead of a very tiny, terrible diner. Also, is that guy a leaf? So many questions, so little answers. <laughs> we can't even go. To <laughs> Gladys is playing the piano. Evening, okay. Hi, Manny. Oh, okay. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Oh no, I think I've made a terrible mistake. Oh, but my s I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Just you can tell from the all caps text that he's not going to have a good time talking to her. <laughs> <laughs> Gladys in his giant tux, peacefully playing piano. How you doing, Gladys? Quiet night, huh, Carnal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait. What's that? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song. Oh one, no. Okay? Well, I only have this part. <laughs> no, it's a love song for the car. <laughs> you think we might know? Menchi. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. Hmm. You know, when we leave... Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club. We got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty sack once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Damn Plus, right. I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've got to find Mecha and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Well, I'll I don't need to practice, man. So hopefully that's Meche here now. But I, as much as this seems like a really nice deal for Gladys and Met, uh, Gladys and uh, Manny. You know, some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on the winning streak. Oh yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? <laughs> There's so many people to talk to. Huh. Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stuff. Do they race cats here? So is that really what Manny? they do in the Land oh, of the Dead? It seems like there's going to be a lot for us to take care of in this area. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you settle your bar tab, hey, Charlie? Oh, Manny. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. <laughs> so Passports? Manny, you still think no soul needs a pass. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. King? So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky. Hmm, How about guys sure. license? Uh, just uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. All right. I'm so. Not a wish. Uh, okay. So I feel like that's all the pertinent information we need out of him. I'm gonna go through these other dialogue options. If there's anything important here, I'll keep it in. But. I think getting that printing label machine and having that we can get a driver's license or anything like printed out of him is what we need from this character right here. Why aren't the roulette is for lonely guys? 